approach you use, you don't think that sometimes you let your emotions take the better side of your judgment? Does that not... What, what, what approach is that? The approach that... I mean, yeah, you see, let me tell you. If you became president and someone insults you, you take the presidential convoy and go and insult them back, is that how you're going to behave? You see... Ebusiya wanga na TV ena muhe ye mobibi ya akwa ba yeni na inimse MBP flag barashi puris no 26 August omo koko ako tuwa ba ayi five out of ten a omo prese omo bedi MBP ni mu kai na November mususo omo yini ba obedi omo ni mu kai na eno ena ana boka in Japan interview a oko ye ye ena ni ba o interview no ebusa ni se previously no na okan kufobi huwa sema amafu susu se ayi di diatema as an honorable ni nkwan se odidi atem because oko parliamenta you will normally be oha obe kan na asem bi oha obe kan e be mo atwe asan if you say and same fata obi a oye mp ana obi a oye parliamentarian eno ana wona bo ken japan a respond a wo chese sa normal mo chese odidi nkofu atem ni nyina no ya de ntii na ono no de e na omde ba out na nipa kora ono edidi na atem edi kan ana se nipa kora o kan no ho asem ansa na ono ba be respond no o ma amfa eno ama na o chiri mo a ebidi se fia shwas nega ebidi se alaji ba tura sabi wonya ne baabi ko ebi ti se former igp ebi ti se boabe asamoa nipa bebere a wona omonya encounter amamfo susu se o ka omo ho asem na eye didi atem a ensem fata obi a oye honorable sa no ni nyina no waka ho asem a chichim di ntia ekoba ni sa ono de ontwen san da o sa e chere se eno ene marginalism e wo ga na ha no ebi mo ho no mo nyomo djuma yi because and some ni bi wo ha omo hwim na so so omo ye ya na ebi ti se ono ni die na omo ba ba publish ya na so omo kan ho asem abra omo hwehwe ensem no mu na ojina sa asem so ka se eno nti e na oyi justice ko ko anan edi no wa chire mu wa chire mu di nti a oyi na di e ma ensem ni bi kura o chira e bi ko court nyina yenko na yenko ti ona boken japan emra ye ba ye beto aso when the name kennedy point is mentioned Acerbic comes to mind. He has an acerbic tongue. He insults. In fact, preparing for this interview, I decided to just do a quick Google search of, I just wrote Kennedy Japan insults. And the turnover was huge. I could read a number of, of, of headlines that popped up. And I'm wondering, how, how do you beha behave that way? You've insulted presidents, you've insulted chiefs, you've insulted journalists, you've insulted Ifias as nigger. You've insulted members of parliament. You've insulted journalists. At least those are all the quotations. Some are in video, some are in text. As a child growing up, I was told not to insult people. You want to be president of the land. Culturally, do these insults stick with the personality you are seeking to be now? You know what? Let me tell you something. In Ghana here, the problem we have is they always misconstrue confidence to be arrogant. I'm a confident person and I speak my mind. In plain words, I'll tell you like this. But in Ghana, even when they're going to insult you, they'll say, oh, please. Like, with all due respect to the Sebi, Kuyapi, Sebi. Yeah, a can, oh, Sebi, Sebi, Nipa, Chose, and all those things. And the result is the same. Sebi, what do you mean? Nipa, Chose, Oyaboa. Can a Japan comes and say, what do you mean? boa. And they think because I didn't use the word sebi or mepacho, it makes a difference. It doesn't make a difference. But is it good to insult? I reciprocate action. So you are a tit for tat person? Normally, yes. If you became president and someone insults you, you take the presidential convoy and go and insult them back, is that how you're going to behave? You see, when you are president, you are a leader for your country and you represent your country. You cannot be talking like that. And I will ignore most of them. I'm not even going to comment. Of late, if you have watched whatever behavior I put up, there are a lot of insults here and there, but I just ignore them. But old habits die hard. If it's something that, and I'm a media person, and even before I started practicing journalism, 
when you sit on national agenda on net two in the past and i've followed net two i've mm. followed oman fm and i even your newspaper the national agenda right. i think i think it died later on but right. and when you go to a doom fm and all these places i remember when you were engaging the late alaji baturi right you insulted even his father and even sounded ethnocentric when he said when you made your first one million or something like to that effect, his father was a, a watchman or something to that effect. Did you have to go down that low? Yes. Why? Why? Because, you see, with all due respect to you, journalists, if Ghana is going to burn, it's journalists because most of you don't speak the truth. Really? Yes. Read my lips. Explain. In the sense that, at least, you should have given me benefit of the doubt to ask, is this man mad? To describe uh, Alaji Baturi as this, 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 and that. Nobody. All what he says. You see, I changed my attitude and began to reciprocate action because in this country, I was here for some time, and NDC insults people and they get away with murder. I say, how can we allow a group of people to insult people and get away with murder? The first time. A reciprocated action was when uh, one NDC guy insulted President Kufo and said he's a dumb, he cannot even speak good English and all those things. All these words that he used for, for President Kufo, because he's an NDC, nobody said anything. What did Alaji Baturi say about my family before I said that? I mean, we have to be fair. And if I ask you the question, you cannot give me answer because, with all due respect to you, most of you are stereotyped. And most of us, we consume information without digesting it. I was responding to the accusations by Elijah Baturi. But whatever he accused me of, nobody heard it. It is only Kenya Japan's response. That, I think, is not fair in this country. Are you a Christian? I am. I think the Bible says somewhere that let go and let God. Have you ever considered that? The Bible also says that you should crack the whip. So you are cracking the whip? Yes, yeah, sometimes. Even not all though the time. it would come out as you said that when you are confident, they say you are arrogant. But it would come as, out as you are disrespectful, you are insulting. It, it doesn't bother you. It doesn't that, that's a target that's put it on your head. It doesn't bother me because it's the truth. I speak the truth. Ghana here, a lot of people are afraid to speak the truth. And when you speak the truth, they say you're arrogant. They say you're insulting. You mentioned a foolish was nigger. I never knew her until she went on PCFM to insult me. It was my colleague MP who told me that, ah, what have you done to a foolish was nigger? I said, who is a foolish was nigger? And then he retorted, ah, you don't even know her. I said, no, what's ish? Go and ask for the tape. The way this woman was insulting you. So I took the tape. And listen to what he said and i had to go down to her level for also to let her feel the pain that every individual that he has insulted in this country also feels do you feel children who are watching you should reciprocate what you are doing should they learn that from you what uh, you can learn everything from me because my good things outweighs the bad things you claim to be in parliament the yeah. house had to reprimand you because for, for you insulted the, parliament for speaking the truth so you see for speaking the truth so what is called insult for you is speaking the truth yeah it's the truth ghana when we speak the truth they say we are insulting but you see you're a member of parliament where language is very very much and sensitive what, you see, and i i want you to do me a favor and quote at least some of the insults oh if i were to go on uh, <laughs> some some are horrible i don't even want to know if i whether they are correct or not but i could read some of them for you yeah read i have um taken the burden to take a screenshot of a number of them um while i while i look for them parliament reprimanded you they said that what you did was unparliamentary look at some headlines angry kennedy japan insults his workers for running adverse before his interview that's one kennedy japan angrily insults if yashua's nigger of arrest claims Showers of insults. If Yashua Zenega blazes her gun at Kenny Japan, IGP pardons Kenny Japan for insults. IGP. Ken IGP, former Inspector General of Police, uh, Kudalo. Apparently, you had insulted him and said he was an asshole. You said this on TV. That's what has been quoted as you say. Kenny Japan pleads with judges after TV insults. You insulted a judge, a number of judges. 
it doesn't end there. There are several other problems. In fact, Ghana Web has a catalog. They describe it as a dossier, Kennedy Japan Insult IGP. And they have a list of people you have insulted there. They put it up there for you. Then look at them. This is Ghana Web. I am out of insults. I'm a gentleman, Kennedy Japan. That sounded like you had repented. Who said that? This was you, December 2016. They, I said, haven't said they that. said you said you would stop insulting. I haven't said that. Okay. Which means whatever you are saying, you see, that's what I told you initially. Mm -hmm. That <clears throat> at least they should have given me benefit of the doubt. Okay. To ask why did this MP say this? All these things they didn't bring it. But and it, all they said is insult, insult, insult. You journalists, most of you are not fair. Really? Yes. And you you insulted Boabin Asamoah, and he says Boabin Asamoah reacts to Kennedy Japan's insults at him. This was your former director of communication. Mm -hmm. Kennedy Japan in hot waters, judge summons him over insults. Kennedy Japan shows no mercy on baby mama, replies her insults and apology. Kennedy Japan cautioned and discharged for insulting a judge. This is another headline, myinfo.com. Kennedy Japan insults Sami Dakun, a lawyer in court, and judge had to intervene. And it continues you just see, by googling. I'm insults. telling you, you are all biased. How? Bias did you not say the, these things? What, the, what did Sami Daku say in court? What did Please. he say? You see, I'm trying to be nice, but I know you are an intelligent journalist. I expect you also to probe into it. Mm -hmm. What did Sami Daku say in court? What did he say, sir? Uh, you don't know, but you are quoting the him. publications from the reports. Uh, but I'm sorry. In the court. I'm sorry. I yeah. tell you the truth. Yeah. That you also have the same problem. Okay. Because. You did not even ask what Samir Daku said, and I replied him. Okay. All you are quoting is what, oh, they said he insulted Samir mm -hmm. Daku. Mm -hmm. That boy, I can, he can be my child. Do you know what he said, the description he gave me? In I want court. you to go and find out. Okay, but you see, the issue is that because the judge had to intervene, as a journalist, I appeal to authority in my reportage. If the judge asked you to withdraw, it means that what you said was unprintable. But the judge did not ask him to withdraw. Usually when the judge sees... No, I'm saying that. No. I'm asking you, yeah. my brother. I want to prove something to you. Yeah. How journalists, some of you are so unfair. Mm -hmm. And you only consume information. Mm -hmm. And some of them, they are just diabolic. They're going to burn this country. Because the actual things that prevail, they will never say it. They will just pick an issue. Then just spread it. And nobody will probe into that statement... Then they will come out with their conclusion. I know any of our kuti aban for comment bar comment section the like and subscribe to the channel. Now I chemu di India. We use justice ko ko na edi. We use India. Now man for NTA si a ochim se o kaseti a doctor Mawamadu Baumia a vice president. Any ni peti chubia o kasa etia o mo na ono di on supporti se di journalist fo bi e o mo juma se di wodi kan aka no on supporti if you say journalist fo ni bi o wa o mo hwehwe asem ti se ono ni di e o mo kasa odi di nko fo atem yi o mo hwehwe asem no nso o hwehwe mo ano hu se da bi wa hwe ya abrante e justice ko kwa nan e be ma ni nsa esi form na e se o ma ni tena nchen inti yenko yenko tie ni nchire mu na o che se bi kura e ko court nyina yenko yenko ni yenko tie emra that is not fair to you when you attack journalists you own a media empire yeah so that is that the, is why also unprofessional that is why i'm fair <laughs> let me give you one example why mm -hmm. assad justice annan mm -hmm. justice annan insulted vice president justice annan was biased to a man who was an adjudicator for mr prempe the former director controller general he died in his estate. One Mr. Boateng has to wait. You know, this gentleman, they not even call Mr. Boateng for his side of the story. He made series of publications against this man. Mm -hmm. When we had this election at the stadium, I know the man. I went there to greet him. The way the man behaved, he embarrassed me. I saw what? And he only said to me, oh, yeah, you did it. I'm saying, I don't even know what you are talking about. Later on, I went to find out from uh, Oman FM and Netu that they had even taken the matter to court. Media Commission has asked Justice Sanan to apologize to the man, and he refused. According to the man, somebody at my media stations told him that I am the one behind it for 
for Jezezana to destroy him, which I didn't even know about it. It was not true. No, I did not even know about it. So I realized, Ish, no, I can lose good friends. Although I'm contesting the vice president, I will not stand anywhere and insult him. Whether I like it or not, he's the vice president. You campaign for him. Right. Mm -hmm. And if you follow the trend, there's nowhere I have insulted the vice president. Again, this noble man that really likes me, I like him. His daughter's wedding, I was there. Only for him to embarrass me. So I decided to verify. And when I verified, they gave me the report from media commission. So I said, mm -mm, this thing can go on. You see, he destroyed the man. And he was so hurt. This is the problem I have. So if the person is working for me, and he's not doing the right thing, and I'm not able to check him, how would I have the courage even to say something to you if you also do something wrong? Mm -hmm. So I, see, I think we have to be fair to everybody. But, but the approach you use... You don't think that sometimes you let your emotions take the better side of your judgment? Does that not... Well, what, what approach is that? The approach that... I mean, yeah, you see, let me tell you. In, 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 in Parliament, just a second, in Parliament, mm -hmm. when you say the least word, the Speaker would ask you to withdraw. They say it's unparliamentary, mm -hmm. which means that your Parliament is a house of decorum. We, so we watch you in the well. We right. see how you put speak. The least word you use against your colleague, even if it's a gesture recently, the speaker had to ask your colleague to withdraw. Do you not think that you should replicate that also on the public scene so that we make progress and have decency or decorum? You see, you see you use the word decency and decorum. Is decency applies to everybody or it applies to a section or a group of people in this country and other groups are not you know, so we have to be careful. I tell you, I always reciprocate action. And before I come out, you would have done it for several times that I don't even say anything. So one day, when I come out, the public, the society, everywhere, because it's Kenya Japan, they have a news. That, I think, is not fair. Okay. If you really want to develop this country, we should all build this. Have confidence, bold, honest, sincere, disciplined, and change this country. But a situation where when you respond to somebody's allegation, somebody's insult, and they ignore what was the, said against what you. was said against you and reprimand you for what you have said, I think is wrong. Your first drama, current state company limited for in rule of the above on the in rule no and what do you pop up up so be my pastor oh pima ku and me more more appear for the a year zahara man capsules and no a use is yad yen a few or now some some way china now swatch at me more more appear for and she says is yad yen a doubt so and i say yad yen not to son of pija to a china they make for mom a zahara man capsules but pima ku and papa b and not done chance to a hindi herbal mixture and only dear a malaria drug tatashi diabetes most of us have been under pressure Blood pressure, almost one, and manage a motor mina, and also come apart, just say, or how be any changes, and malaria, and not diabetes, and our blood pressure, and the war swap, patch or a drama come for the amount. A Hindi herba mixture, a free currency company limited. And I face Zahara mixture, and I face Zahara G capsules, a two, and Namia DBA, a war swap, said to Kuboni Binokura, or Ba, and Asa Bema. A hobby a war swap, a war, a year, and Namia DD, they may come for more, a Zahara mixture, and I face Zahara G. Capsules, no, and they be in the media, they never flew or say prostrate, and I say, Oh, I think I think I will form one in our no more or bar, yeah, do I a sandboard, and I say, Do I a calendar, but soon as one will be a tea with your head, but you drew a year through her, and they say, I'm not all ever of which go mature menstrual disorders, in a year through her, a year Sahara mixture, and in your chassis, a num boom, and in your G capsules, and now they be no ever through her, and we cry there, plus. Wa utri anye ye nawo osa so o yemono an a baby ano e baby yi e fli homa on so won't me at all. Say do I make come for so it be din nebi ya de home akon ya badye and one is zahara mischa and zahara g capsules papa pa i free currency company limited.